start off with a light sketch just to really rough the rougher the better and that's all I'm going to start with my brush of choice is this little brush it's a Dale Rowney synthetic sable number 10 I think it's quite an old brush you can see all the numbers and um, branding's all worn off but it is my favorite brush I use it for a lot of um, detail work and I'm holding the brush at the tip of the handle so I'm just really adding in some lovely loose brush marks might be a little bit small actually today for my drawing and cool what I haven't done is I haven't done a strip a spritz of water because I really do prefer to paint wet and wet okay that's better okay and now we're going to paint mrs watercolor here she is here just using um very watery watercolor today because i am just practicing i'm not doing a full painting so i just want to get the feel of things i want to make sure i'm doing the right thing and practicing I want them all joining up. He's got his jeans on, paint in the sun. He's got a blue shirt and he wants to go that way because they never go want to go the way the parents are going. And it's Christmas time after all. There we go. And he's got brown shorts on and bandy little legs. There we go. Okay. I think I'll fix that up. Sometimes I fix those up, sometimes I don't. Okay, so uh, next to him is little sister, and she's got a little red dress on. Remember, no straight edges for any of these things. These are people. People don't have straight edges on them. And she has just been skipping down wherever. And now we're going to paint Nana. And Nana's got, um, she's bending over to give um, somebody an ice cream. So let's just paint her in. Whoops, I need a little bit more. I really like Burnt Sienna for, um, I have Burnt Sienna in just about every painting. I don't think I could paint without it. And there's, whoopsie, there's her foot there. I think she's going to have to have shoes on or sandals. Looks a little bit grim, really. And if you were worried about that, just grab your spritzer. And I'll just put her here and now, using more, more paint and less water. I'll just, yeah, that will do her here. Okay. So we need, um, oh, we need the grand, the little one, don't we? Here he is here. Look, he's got this little tiny shirt on. And he wants to get the ice cream from Nana. Because she's giving it to him, of course. Because Nana's always spoil the little ease. There he is there. We can give him a little bit of a tidy up later on as well. Um, and here's the older brother who's not getting an ice cream because he's been annoying. Got a bit of a stripe on his shirt. Whoopsie. And he's got brown shorts on. There we go. And bandy legs. There's his head. Don't know what he's doing, but oh, actually, he's got a fat arm now. Blast. And I might just give him a little bit of a shadow coming down here. That's better. Cool. All right. And then maybe another little girl. Um, I'm painting them in alizarin crimson today, but that's just simply what I've got handy. Oh, bikini. Here we go. Okay. 
Okay, let's see if we can get those little leggies to look right. Quite watery. Press it down and bring it up. Press the brush down and lift it up. There's her head there. Two mates and they're at the beach. And press the brush down, lift it up. Press it down, lift it up. And that way you get your little legs. So here it is again. I got it in the right place. I have. Press the brush down, lift it up. Press the brush down and lift it up. And that's even better because the knee there, this looks like a foreshortened leg that's going away from me. And this one is behind, closest to me. And I think that's actually a better leg. But as I say, practice with them and they will just get better and better and better. So there's two girls in their bikinis. This one's got a bit of a chunky leg, poor darling, never mind. And um, I like my girl in the red bikini better. And I like her legs better actually as well. And you'll get to fool around with these and um, you'll get to really enjoy them. So, But it's fun to play with them, isn't it? Look at that. And what a tremendous variety of people in there that we get just by painting watercolour. Um, there's children, there's grandmothers, more children, mother, more grandparents, kids at the beach. But, and I'm going to put some shadows in. So I will need a shadow there. It's not quite dry enough, but it'll do for now. So shadows under the um, legs of the trousers, top of the shirt, maybe a shadow under the shirt sleeve, another one around here, maybe darken that up a little bit, and maybe around his head. In actual fact, I think he's got a cap on as well. There we go, that's better. And if you were worried about any of those edges, just soften one or two of them off. We have it so easy in watercolour for softening edges. Bring that shadow down there. Maybe a bit of a softening down here as well. And see what a huge difference is. These girls are quite dry actually, so they could have a shadow in them as well. A little bit of a shadow under the top of the bikini, top of the legs, that she's still quite damp that one. Here we go. And I think she's actually got a ponytail. Oh, I know what she's got. She's got pigtails and they're still damp from the beach. I don't know what she's doing, she's leaning forward. There's the top of her bathing suit. That's better. And I think this one has got pigtails as well. That's better. Here we go. It's just coming around her ear as well. Okay. And no, still quite damp down that leg. And shadow along her skirt, there's a shadow for her legs, cast from her dress. Bring it all the way down there, I think. There we go. Not sure about the shape of that head, but about the shape of the hair that I've put on her. Um, but it's something that you could always fix up later on and you just need to have a play with it and see what you come up with. Good idea to draw people as well. Now.